If you're a beginner to content creation, you might have wondered at some point or another why you're not getting followers on Instagram. Now, there can be many different reasons for this, but I wanted to go through some points in this video that are often overlooked when it comes to growing an audience on Instagram. So if you've been struggling to grow your following, hopefully this video will be for you. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kaylee and I'm a beauty and fashion photographer based near Sydney, Australia. But I'm also a content creator and a few years ago, I started this channel to talk about all things content creation, business, freelancing, and social media. So as I mentioned in this video today, we're gonna to be going through some of those reasons why you might not be getting followers on Instagram and really look at how you might be able to turn that around. Now, I really wanna mention first and foremost, one of the most important things you need to remember when you're starting an account on Instagram, and it's that you want to maximize your reach in all ways possible. You wanna maximize this in a way that you can reach a new audience and really start to tap into some of those groups of people that could become part of your community one day on Instagram. So that's a really important thing to remember first and foremost. And now we're gonna jump into some of the reasons why you might not be gaining followers. So the first reason might annoy some people if you're really not into posting this kind of content, but it might be because you're not posting reels. Now, I think a lot of people have a very love-hate relationship with Reels and some people really enjoy posting Reels, some people don't enjoy it as much. And because it's a fairly new feature of within the last few years that really overtook posts in a way, I think some people are really quite sad about that still, including myself. <laughs> but having said that, I think it's really important to adapt as these new features come onto these platforms. As much as we don't love it sometimes, we have to recognize that sometimes these new features will be a really determining factor as to how we can reach other people. I think it's totally fine if you're not into posting reels, but I do want to highlight the fact that it can really maximize your reach. I think things have definitely improved with posts in general and the reach has been a little bit more heightened lately. I'd say in the last six months or so, it's definitely getting better with posts as well, being a lot more featured on Instagram again. But I will say that reels actually get you reach and posting a good reel or getting one to do well can actually be a really, really great way to increase your follower count. So it is an important thing to remember if you're not getting followers on Instagram it may be because you're not posting reels and not capitalizing on that part of Instagram. I still find that a lot more people tend to see my reels rather than my actual posts. Even the people that are following my account always seem to find my reels over my posts so it's just something to keep in mind. The next reason as to why you might not be getting followers is that you might not be using enough hashtags. Using hashtags isn't the most important factor for posting on Instagram but it is still important to an extent. And I think that using more hashtags these days rather than too little is actually a good thing because if you're including 20 to 30 hashtags on a single post, your work is then being featured on 20 to 30 different hashtag pages. So you're really reaching a lot of different sets of people with that. If you're only posting about five to 10 hashtags, then you're only getting featured on about five to 10 hashtag pages. So that's really something important to keep in mind and realize that I think the whole myth of posting around five to 10 hashtags is kind of like fading out at this point and there's really no harm in posting up to 30. I think the main thing to remember with this though is you're wanting to maximize your reach but also make sure that the hashtags you're using are good quality and I'm going to be doing a video it might be up by now it might not be but it's going to be all about hashtags and I'm going to be going in depth with what the best ways are to use them and to really correctly use them and the best ways to do your research when it does come to hashtags. By using good quality hashtags I mean hashtags that don't have incredibly high usage rates from people or incredibly low for that matter. You want something that's kind of in the middle that people could search for and find your work fairly easily. And it's not just gonna be pushed down to the bottom if too many people are using that particular hashtag because that's often what happens with that kind of content that are posted to those hashtag pages where they're really popular and used a lot. The third reason you might not be getting any followers on Instagram is maybe you're not engaging enough with people on the platform. And I've said this so many times before in my videos, but social media media wants you to be social. If they can see that you're interacting with different people and different people are able to see that you're commenting on their work, that you're liking their content and engaging with them, then they're going to be more likely to engage with you as well. And in doing that engagement, they might actually follow you back. So this is actually going to be really similar to my next point, but I do feel like engagement plays a really
really, really huge part in building an audience on Instagram these days. If you're not kind of keeping that social factor and sort of reciprocating other people's engagement on your own content, it's really important that you do because I think it really helps to just create that little bit more community on Instagram. And that engagement factor, though not obvious at first, will help you to gain more of an audience on Instagram. Along with that point, you may not be following enough people in your niche. And this is another thing that I've talked about a lot on my channel before and that I think is really important to building a community on Instagram and to gaining more of an audience is to start following a lot more people in your niche. These people don't need to have 200,000 followers or a million followers or anything like that. In fact, I actually think it's best to stick to following people in your niche that have a similar follow account to you. I think it really helps to start following those kinds of people because a lot of the time they will be likely to follow you back as well. So you've made really minimal effort there in terms of building more of an audience by just following like-minded people on Instagram. And then you're going to be more likely to want to see their work as well because they might be posting similar content to you. So it's a really great way, as I mentioned, to start building community, to start engaging with people on the platform. And it's also going to let the Instagram algorithm know who to push your content to. So not only will you have more chance of gaining followers just by following other like-minded people and having a common thread with them, but they'll also be really good quality followers as well because you'll be interested in what they're posting and they'll hopefully be interested in what you're posting as well. It's a really good way to start reaching the right kind of audience. And then the main final point that I'm going to talk about here as to why you might not be gaining followers on Instagram. And it feels like a horrible point to cover, but it might be because your content just isn't that great yet. So it could be the quality of your content that's letting it down. And this is a really easy thing, unfortunately, to have happen. And I know a lot of people struggle with the quality of their work when they're just starting out with content creation. And it does take time to kind of develop that quality into your work as well. But it's really important to make sure that you're posting in the right resolution, whether that be for posts or video, it's important to make sure that those basic specs are covered and that they are in the highest quality settings as possible. It might also be because your niches aren't too well defined yet. And again, that does take time. You will learn, you will get better at this and it's just going to be a process. Maybe there's not enough flow with your Instagram as well. I know that this is still a fairly important thing with Instagram is to have a lot of flow with your feed. And that again is going to take time. But the more that you experiment, the more that you do a lot of trial and error with your Instagram, you'll find out what works and what doesn't work as well. Or it may also be because you're not resonating enough with others. So I think one of the best ways to actually gain an audience on Instagram is to actually relate and resonate with other people. I think it's important to be transparent with your own experience as a content creator, whatever niche you're in. And I think that transparency really helps people relate to you and really makes them want to come back for more in future. I think it's important to be as genuine as possible on the platform, because as we know, social media can be very disingenuous at times. And it's really nice to relate to other people a lot of the time on social media, regardless of what niche you're in. So really keep that factor in mind when you're posting your content, keep all of those factors in mind and make sure that you you're always learning and doing a lot of trial and error because even if your work isn't that great yet, it will be. It's just going to take time and it will take a bit of effort too. You just sometimes need to reassess and take those opportunities to learn. Even if it feels like you're constantly going backwards, make sure you recognize those small bits of growth wherever they may be because no matter what, if you've at least started, you're already halfway there. Now, I really do believe it's important not to take follow account too seriously in the beginning when it comes to Instagram. Don't focus on it too much. I do think that there's always going to be those trial and error lessons that I was talking about before that we need to learn. But also remember that you can do so much with a small following on Instagram, even if you're wanting to make it a full-time thing. You don't need 100,000 followers for a brand deal. You may not even need 10,000 followers. It's more important that you really focus on your own content and how you want your feed to actually be on Instagram. Try not to focus on follow account too much. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, make sure you do because I'll be posting a lot more videos like this one. Let me know in the comment section below how you're looking at growing your Instagram this year because I'd love to hear. But thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video.